Hey guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to another house building video and this one I'm building a toddler friendly home I'm still in the toddler mood, you probably don't blame me I'm pretty sure that everyone is still in the toddler mood, every sim player um, that is But today we're building a house that is designed to have either two parents or one parent and a toddler in it uh, Normally I only do the outside of the house and then I do the inside of the house in a different video in the second part But this time we're building the entire house in one video because It was really quick to build and then I would only have like 10 minutes of footage for each video Which isn't enough in my opinion um, I like videos around 15 like 10 to 15 minutes uh, More towards the 15 minute mark than uh, 10 so like 13 or 14 or 15, something like that. Um, <laughs> you probably understood me the first time when I tried to explain it. But anyway, uh, we're building a pretty small house. It's not a starter home because I'm pretty sure I decorated too much for it to be a starter home. And I already made a base game starter home a couple of days ago. So not a starter home this time, uh, but it is a pretty small home. It has a very big garden with lots of space and also all of the toddler stuff that you need. A chair, a high chair and a potty and play stuff and a bed and everything else <laughs> toddler related is in this home. So that's really good. And it's a bit more of a traditional house. I've built some modern houses the past couple of weeks. So I went for a more traditional house this time. It doesn't have uh, too much of an interesting shape. It's just literally like a box. And then it has some porch things in front of it, which makes it look interesting. And the little roofs on the roof. What? Like the little rooms I put up there to have a little more detail to the roof itself. Uh, but it doesn't really serve a purpose. The main area is just like a box. Just a... Not this square rectangle. Is that the word? I'm not sure. <laughs> That's such a weird thing to not know. Um, because it's like, it's like a basic thing in any, any, any language, isn't it? Like shapes and colors and stuff. Things you learn as a child but when you learn a language when you're older that's not a basic thing anymore like you learn food and how to say yes and no and um, can you help me or where's the toilet <laughs> you know <laughs> that's things you learn not really shapes and colors um, numbers you do learn so it's it's weird to realize that you don't know something that babies learn basically but it's a thing that happens when you try to learn a language. <laughs> and since we're talking about toddlers, I thought I'd tell you a bit more about my babysitting stories. <laughs> Speaking of toddlers. And um, yeah, I don't know. Talk about the build a little, talk about that sort of thing. Um, so basically I babysit for my um, neighbor's kid, like across the road. It's pretty easy because they're home very late um, and usually when a family is home at like 2 a.m. you either need to stay over or you need to be able to get home somehow because it's not like the safest thing to tr travel somewhere on your own on a bike or like walking when it's 2 a.m. but th this is literally across the road so it doesn't matter they can literally see me walking home <laughs> and see if I can get home safe um, so it's pretty convenient and um, they asked me to babysit for the first time when he was about, I don't know, like almost one year, um, but not quite yet. So he was pretty young when I first um, started babysitting, but he was easy. They said that he, you know, I didn't need to change his diaper or anything. Um, they didn't really do that at night. That wasn't in his schedule, I guess. Um, he also pro slept through almost every night so that was the thing that was pretty well um, so the only thing I needed to do was just sit downstairs and make sure that nothing happened at that moment you know uh, they didn't really expect him to wake up or anything and the entire night it was all okay he didn't wake up and at the very last moment of course before they were supposed to get home he starts crying hysterically <laughs> And I'm not the best with children, especially children I don't really know. Um, I've been babysitting before, but with a friend of mine who's really good with children, my best friend. And she's really good with children. And most of the time when they start crying, I'm like, here is the child. Please take care of it. I don't know what to do. But this time it was all on me. Um, and I 
basically, long story short, I didn't get him to stop crying before they got home. So he was crying hysterically. And I felt so bad because I sort of, I felt guilty that I couldn't make him stop crying. And he was just so hysterical. But I only met him like one time. So he probably didn't even know who I was. And then this stranger is in your room and you just want your parents. I mean, I get it. <laughs> he probably had no idea what was happening. But I felt so bad and I was like, they are never gonna ask me again. I was completely sure. But I later found out that they actually felt more guilty than I did. <laughs> At least that's um, how it seemed. Um, they felt like they put a burden on me because their child was crying, which obviously doesn't matter. I mean, that's my job. Uh, <laughs> I need to take care of the child. That's what I'm there for, but you know. So they did ask me again, and I'm way better now. When he wakes up now, he just sort of calls like, hey, I'm awake. Well, he doesn't, but you know, he makes sounds. And <laughs> would also be very interesting if he suddenly starts talking English because I live in the Netherlands, so he speaks Dutch. <laughs> But you know what I mean. Um, and then I'm like, oh, he's awake. And then we sort of hang out, you know. I go upstairs and he just... The first time... Okay, this is a funny story too. Um, I don't see him often because when I'm there, it's always in the evening. Like, I always get there when he's already asleep. And he doesn't know that his parents are leaving. So most of the time he just sleeps. And he doesn't wake up very often. Like they said, he doesn't... He actually doesn't wake up very often. It was just like... You know, children sort of feel when their parents are leaving. So I'm pretty sure he had like a weird feeling. And they were probably... I don't know, being a little bit nervous or something because it's the first time that a babysitter was over but um he doesn't wake up that often so i don't see him that often but a child that's like now two years old or something they grow really quickly so they get bigger um and they start talking and walking and things like that but i don't see him during the day so i don't really hear him talking so the first time um previously he had he had never talked before he just like sort of makes sounds that didn't no, it weren't words. It didn't make sense. And at one point he started crying. So I walked upstairs. Um, and basically <laughs> I asked him, do you not want to sleep? Or are you not sleeping? Or something like that. Um, why are you awake? Or oh, no, no, it was something like, don't you want to sleep? You know, but in, in Dutch it sounds better. Um, <laughs> I've always talked to him even when he couldn't quite understand me yet or couldn't say anything back because it's just like a thing to do and calms them down a little um so i just started talking like not specifically anything but i think i asked him don't you want to go back to sleep or something like that and he just looked at me with a very serious face and he said no <laughs> and it scared me to death because i didn't know he could talk so all of a sudden i got an answer and he was like no and i was like oh my god what do i do now <laughs> I was so confused because I didn't expect him to talk and I also didn't expect him to say no. So what do you do then? Because he said no and I can't make him sleep. You know, I can't force him to sleep. Um, but it, apparently I learned later that he basically always said no. <laughs> it didn't matter what the question was. He just said no because that was his new like favorite words. Like one of the first words he learned, you know. Um, his parents told me, but it was kind of like a funny moment because I was so surprised that he could talk and then he gave like a serious answer to my question and he just looked so serious and I'm like cut off car guard because I didn't know what to do. It's kind of funny. <laughs> so yeah, that's kind of my <laughs> babysitting story, but it's not as bad anymore. Um, I mean, I saw him like enough times now and I'm in, in like a good zone at this moment he doesn't know me well enough to not listen to what I say but he also doesn't like I'm not a stranger anymore he's not scared of me he doesn't start crying when he sees me which sounds awful <laughs> why would you do that no I do not take it personally because I understand that it's for different reasons <laughs> oh that's someone sneezing I don't know if you heard that <laughs> that was my dad <laughs> nice to meet you no but um <laughs> Anyway, um, yeah, it's pretty funny, but now when he starts crying, I, well, he doesn't really cry anymore. He just sort of calls out like, mom, and he doesn't know that his parents aren't home. He just wants attention. And most of the time he sleeps, but sometimes like the last time I was there, no, not the last time, the time before that, he um, slept during the day a lot, so he wasn't tired, so he didn't want to go to sleep. And um, 
I don't know, I just went upstairs and he sort of was hysterically calling for his mom and then I walked upstairs and he saw me and he looked kind of embar embarrassed, like, oh my god, that's not my parents. And then he was quiet and I don't know, we just sort of looking through one of his books that he had with him and he started pointing at things and telling the story and it was kind of, you know, it was fun <laughs> seeing him again. And then at some point I was like, here's another book, you can look through it for, I don't know, for like 10 minutes and then go to sleep and he does I, I mean he is not scared of me but he's he doesn't know me well enough to say no to that sort of thing so he just kind of looks at me and it's like okay <laughs> and then I go downstairs and then most of the time he just goes back to bed that's what he does um, but it's fun it's fun seeing him again sometimes I don't necessarily like children all that much but he is pretty sweet he is pretty nice um, as a kid, I'm not really good with children, <laughs> like I already said. <laughs> okay, so back to the build. Um, what I was trying to do was make a little play area outside. I made a very summery home, at least for the garden. Lots of things you wouldn't use in the winter, only in the summer, basically. Well, it sort of depends on where you live, I guess. But then again, if you live in like a really hot climate, then you probably wouldn't be in the garden. Um, exposed like this, not in the shade at all in, in the summer, but um, when you live where I live, which is in the Netherlands, um, we have sort of cold winters and sort of warm summers, so uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't put my children out to play in the garden in this time of year, because it's way too cold, it's basically freezing. Um, but I wanted like a little play area outside, because I thought that would be cute, and since we don't have a lot of room in the house itself, um, I didn't want a large play area there. Um, and basically I just placed a rug down, <laughs> one of the words I can't pronounce properly, uh, and I put a tree next to it because shade is important when the sun is shining. But I did hear some rumors, first of all about pets, oh my god, that's the expansion pack I've always wanted, I love animals so much. I want pets, I want pets, I want pets. I've never played any of the other Sims games, so I've never experienced what pets is like. But I imagine it's great. <laughs> I will buy it the second it comes out, even when I don't have money. I will make money somehow uh, because pets. I love animals. I want all of the animals. And we're totally making like uh, animal care, let's play or whatever. Something related to animals because I love them. Um, but also about seasons, that's what I wanted to talk about. And I imagine that this garden wouldn't work as much uh, in the winter if season does come out. I'm not sure how that works too. I do. I did hear that your plants die in the winter, which I understand, but that's annoying. <laughs> so as you can see, I'm building the inside of the house now. I already finished the entire outside of the house. The garden is pretty empty, um, as you all also saw. Uh, but I didn't, I don't know, I like an open garden. I also, I think it's really pretty when people like build their simmers, whatever it is, uh, put lots of stuff in their garden, like completely make it full of plants and little like secret areas. And that's the most pretty thing ever. But when you're building like a normal family home, that's not really realistic. You probably have some more open space for your children to run around it and maybe play like soccer or you know, things like that. Um, but I'm building a more traditional house and that's easier for me uh, for decorating because I love decorating traditional houses, um, at least on the inside. On the outside, it's more difficult. Um, but I was happy to be back because I built a lot of modern houses and I was happy to be back into the traditional so I could use my favorite kitchen, which is the one I use now. Um, the white version is my favorite. I think I want a kitchen like that, but maybe like a gray or something. I really like the kitchen we now have, which is like a, it's sort of like a dark gray, but it's sort of a blue tone and it's more in the traditional style, but then it has like a really, really pretty, like sort of marble countertop. It's pretty. I like the kitchen that my mom picked out or my dad, I don't know, probably together. <laughs> I like it. It's really open and we have a large kitchen table, which... Always, always nice. I always sit on the kitchen table when I record and edit and I basically always sit in the same chair. We don't really eat together a lot. It's mostly like people in the living room and people behind their computers. I don't know. Um, we don't really eat on one table most of the time. We do sometimes. And yeah, I don't know. I don't know where I wanted to go with that point. My mind just sort of wandered there for a second. Let me take a sip of my tea because it's getting cold. 
sorry for the break <laughs> so here i was figuring out what kind of colors i wanted um and as i already said blue uh my channel art changed to a little bit a little bit more of a blue color and suddenly i'm using way more blues in my builds too i don't know if that's a coincidence or it's just something that's wrong in my head or i like to match things you don't even see it on the outside so it's not like i was trying to match it for thumbnails or something i don't know i just i'm into the color blue i think that's the thing you know you don't ch you don't choose your um thingy what, what was i saying uh, oh my god you don't choose your uh channel art color for nothing you know there's a reason why you choose that so i'm guessing i'm just more into the blues than pink or purple or whatever um I don't know. Ooh, I need to think of a question to ask you. I have so much fun asking questions and seeing all of your answers. Just like I'm getting to know you a little more. Hmm, what should I ask? Do you like light floors or dark floors? That's a really random question to ask. But I've always used white floors. But I'm getting more into dark floors now. I'm not sure why. But it's just a thing I'm trying, I guess. I don't want all of my houses to look the same, so I'm just sort of trying. Okay, the question will be in the eye in the corner, like always. But you can always answer in the comments if you want to. Um, I read all of the comments and I most of the time reply. Not always, though. Sometimes I already saw the comment, like, almost the same thing. And then I just like it. I click the little love button or like button, whatever it is. <laughs> so, you know, I read it. But I do read all of my comments and reply to most of them, so... If you want to tell me what you like most, I would really like to know. It's just a fun way of getting to know you, basically. Because you know, you probably know, I mean, I don't know how many videos you've watched. Is this, if this is your first video or your first couple of videos, welcome! <laughs> welcome to the channel uh, and subscribe. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Do if you want to, but you don't have to, obviously. It's your choice. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm horrible at promoting the channel, but I do have some new subscribers. I went from 138 to 165 at this point, which is a lot of subscribers for what I usually get. Like normally it takes me like a week to get five subscribers and now it was overnight. Before I went to bed I had 160 and now I have 165. So thank you so much to all of my new subscribers if you're watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for supporting my channel. It means so much to me. And I don't say that enough. I say it a lot already but it's still not enough. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I am all over the place today. I wanted to add some more toys in the living area since there isn't much inside and I'm guessing you probably want something for your ch children to play with when you're just watching TV or doing something else. So you can keep an, keep an eye on them. But that's basically it for this living area. I didn't have much room since it is pretty small but I wanted to build a small, smaller house. I wanted to build like a small family sort of thing like one parent like a single parent or two you could fit two parents in here since they sleep in the same bed that's easier <laughs> i couldn't fit another bedroom in here um so it's just a toddler room and um it's like a starting home for families you know they probably need to move out when they have more children if they want more children although they could easily make an extension here since their garden is so big and not a lot of stuff is in there so you could probably make an extension that wouldn't take too much effort. Also, I'm not sure if the bathroom works. I'm really sorry if it doesn't. Uh, I needed to fit a bed, bath, top, bed, top, what? You know, the thing, the top thing, not the shower. Because children can only get in there. So I need to fit a lot of stuff in a very small space. And I forgot to test it. I'm so sorry. Um, it's already up in the gallery. I already uploaded it uh, before I tested it. Oops. Uh, it wasn't supposed to happen that way. Um, but it did. But if you want to download this house, it's about 38,000 or something. Um, you can do that. I was talking about something. I wanted to say something. No. Oh, I was talking about how you know me, but I don't know you. Yeah, if you see more than one video or like a couple of videos of mine, you probably know something about me. But I don't know a lot about you guys. And it's really fun to get to know people, even if it's just like a stupid question on what flooring you like more whatever it's just a fun way to get people's opinion get a conversation starting you know i don't know i like doing that <laughs> it's just a random thing i do and now <laughs> you can see that i really like these curtains <laughs> because i'm using them all around the house they're so pretty and they're so useful and they're 
they fit they fit on more than one window like I can make it work for three or two and have so I don't have a lot of windows curtains sorry that can do that I'm always like struggling with getting them to work and getting them to look right sometimes it literally looks most of the time I put curtains in front of windows and then it looks like they if they close it's just like you can still see inside because this is this, is, this isn't enough curtain for this big of a window um, I also really like to see living ones, but they need a little more room because if a window is next to a wall, it doesn't fit. But this fits beautifully and it still looks like if it closes, you can cover the entire thing and it's just wonderful. And I know if I'm missing out because I don't have any packs, well, that's a lie. I have a pretty large amount of expansion packs and stuff packs and game packs and everything, uh, but I don't have all of them. So maybe there's more curtains, uh, but I was asking about curtains um, If I wanted one thing in the game it was curtains and now I have those and toddlers Oh my god, I didn't even know I wanted them But now I do and I love them. But anyway, this video is almost over So thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon. Goodbye